Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn where I'm actually don't remember why I'm carrying this gun but I've got it and we're going and actually no we're gonna drop it. Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. Oh! The ultimate killer app. It's this guy. Now I know what you're thinking. He's a the purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia 200 years from now and this new biosphere you're growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, okay. guy, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life loving to do. This guy is weird. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. That seems a bit okay. much. Not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank That's slate. That's a powerful thing. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. Oh, boy. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. You're, uh, it's actually so kind of terrifying. To Hades. Welcome his, to the void. His face is not moving except for okay, his mouth. so... If that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? Yeah, what is up? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the eclipse like so, some kind of so god? So it's something different? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. So this is an actual Hades right here. And this is what the machine that's been hunting us, or the program, or whatever has been hunting us, is calling us. But maybe... Did Hades get infected by Pharaoh? Or is Pharaoh completely gone? No, Pharaoh's not gone because there's still the robots out there that it's like taking over. Um, but. Yeah, so yeah, this is kind of weird. Because. Oops. If this is Hades. Uh, is it still connected to Gaia in any way, or no? Or has it been corrupted? Uh, color me confounded, Lizzie. Bashcore, anyone who says the old uh, TT goes to Bashcore is straight up lying, and you know it. Old Trad don't have no truck with commercialized razzle dazzle, nuh uh. Heck, I'd rather guzzle a liter of citrus room, run off, and listen to Grace Swarm for 30 seconds. Hand to God and swear on my mama's grave, and she was religious. Nah, that ain't Bashcore bleating the Hades lab, blasting the Hades lab. Shaking the walls, rattling folks' teeth. It's death metal, girl. Classical music, 80s and 90s mostly. Got me some Dutch deathcore, some Japanese gore grind, some Swedish cannibal theme stuff too. Stop by if you wanna listen, or heck, just come within 50 meters of the lab. Ain't no bashcore you'll see, or hear rather, in the screech that rends the air and feel, in the throbbing pulse of the floor. As for those requests, turn it down. No can do, Lizzie. This is how I code. Turn down my death metal. Might as well give up the stimulants. Chocolate malt and industrial accent. Accident vids. Last I heard, we were supposed to be coding Hades down here. Am I really supposed to code an extinction protocol without death metal to inspire me? No, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. Stay cool, Trev. I don't like this guy. <laughs> Did he put something into Hades he wasn't supposed to, maybe? What a jerk. Apparently, somebody did mention that apparently I did miss a few, I missed a side hallway where I, I got a little bit more of a couple people's stories, and I'm bummed out because I, I thought I did everything, but, 
Yeah, here. Tay here. Just popped three blues, but I earned it. Finally figured out a Goldilocks solution to Gaia's rather extreme executive authority. Oh, no! If that ain't worth 10 to 12 hours of dream time, what is? Before this, every usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation. Because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard and it degraded the Gaia core. Sure, it pried her figurative fingers off the figurative driving wheel so Hades could take control. But by breaking her fingers, sometimes her arms too. So that couldn't fly. Everything depends on Gaia taking back control after Hades has done his business. So I had to find a solution that didn't leave Gaia any worse for wear. Too soft and Gaia only pretended to relinquish control. In simulation of after simulation, Hades would take command of the terraforming system and reverse operations only to have Gaia lurk in the background, quietly re-reversing processes and falsifying telemetry to hide its interference. Sneaky. I swear, ain't nothing Gaia wouldn't do to keep life going. Even when it's just simulated plant life. Turns out the just right solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective coat shell, preserving its integrity, then unseat it from command position so Hades can slip into the figurative captain's chair and work its magic. Um, those blues are coming on strong now, so I'm not really describing it so clear, but pretty sure it'll work. Yeah, those blues are pretty strong. Guess it's time to sleep in bed. I'll be back to it tomorrow, alligators. I get this guy is probably a genius, but, uh,. Seems like he was doing unnecessary things. What sort of hot side hide hallway did I miss? Side hallway. Went like all over the place. We're getting closer though. So this is Hades. This is the origin of Hades, the thing that's hunting us right now. And he must have done. So what? So the thing is, so they, so so. I wonder if, at this point, if Gaia has been isolated and Hades is attempting, or Hades is just separated entirely. I don't know what would trigger Hades to go, though, unless it was somebody in our world currently who accidentally put, set the code off or something. But, because I think Gaia is still functioning. So, they, they shouldn't be able to operate at the same time. To Travis, uh, from Samina Ibaji, uh, CC'd Elizabeth Sobek. She must have gotten so many emails. Archive abuse. Mr. Tate, this mail concerns Apollo. Archive submission, blah, blah, blah. Your 660th, 600, 600th, 66th submission in just five days and oh what a doozy despite earlier warnings three inappropriate materials you chose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exploitation cinema allow me then to thank you on two counts for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission thereby consigning your favorite eastern european torture flicks and their ilk to the dust heap of oblivion. It truly warms my heart to know that I have saved the dream humanity from the ordeal of experiencing not just one, but all 16 installments of making a millipede. Don't worry, the Pasolini material has already been preserved. Extreme, perhaps, but art. For clarifying, a concept that has so long been ambiguous and ethically fraught for archivists such as myself, the definition of obscenity. You have freed me from this objective quagmire, embodied in Judge Potter's famous utterance, I know it when I see it. Thanks to you, I can now apply a single objective criterion. If Travis Tate submitted it, it's obscene. Accordingly, I have directed Apollo staff to summarily reject all your future submissions, sight unseen. Perhaps you might invest the time you would have spent preparing further submissions on, oh, I don't know, your assigned work? We have a world to save, after all. Or the rest of us do, anyway. Oh boy, this guy was, uh, he was not a favorite. Uh, and doing a kill program is like, what is that? Oh, that's my gun. Like, I get it, it makes sense why you have one, but... Looks like the only way onwards. It also seems like, I don't know, Elizabeth should maybe have had a big hand in that one herself. Because... Welcome to Eleuthia, <laughs> the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. Hello. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, At least he the moves. alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, ah, not alter it. That's key, that's key. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally, 
frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species. So it's not eugenics. Modified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. Okay. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. So they've already had clones, though. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture My and education during early child development. All of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So. Cradle! Si vous êtes prêt, si vous let êtes. us begin. Okay. Zip zip. Thank you, German. So many, so many things to read. The ectogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I spent the last 36 hours examining them and poring over technical documentation. The revelation, astonishing. I don't know what you had to give Far Zenith and trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it. In a single leap, their, embry the, their embryologists, embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risks of ECMO resolved. Nutrition delivery resolved. Hormonal stability resolved. Twelve other risk areas resolved. Before I examined these chambers, I considered the Odyssey to be a fool's errand. Odyssey! But if the rest of FZ's technology is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I'm confident they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours and get back to an expected fabrication plan within 48 hours. A dedicated man. Are these... what I, what I think they are? Artificial wounds. Yep! Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. Wait, what? okay. I'm trying to read. Cradle Servitor Personae. Development of the artificial personae for cradle servitors, nurturer, disciplinary, and healer continues at a good pace. We are targeting Turing point four for these constructs. This should allow low-grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence to codified behavior sets. The stimulus-driven switching of personae, however, is proving to be a greater software challenge than anticipated. Especially concerning our entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer persona. Um... So, like, disciplining and then healing and then disciplining and healing. Yeah, it seems like a bit... That could create issues. <laughs> I have also attached the reports from an incident where a servitor running the mother persona intervened on a disciplinarian servitor's behavior. A parental argument, if you will. Amusing on first glance, perhaps, but deeply concerning. I have attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these and interactive protocol shortcomings and just... Blah, blah, blah. Okay... So, the programs they're creating are sort of either they're, they're evolving or were created in a way that they weren't expected to react, or like, um, like there's different these different personae in the cradle. Um, one of them is, you know, the, 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 the mother, the care, the nurturer. I guess, I guess it would be like a nurturing one. I mean, mothers are often just, I don't, I don't know how. Having these separated out doesn't seem, maybe, as, as I say, it doesn't seem good, good idea, but maybe it has to be done because the computer software is limited in its capability, whereas a human being is capable of being all these things at once. Like, mothers can be many, many, many things. They're disciplinarians, healers, um, I, they're, they're everything. They're empathetic, they're harsh, they're... They're, they're just there are a lot of things like I can't even I don't even like mothers are everything you know like they can be I've you've seen those shirts right where like it's like I'm a this I'm a I'm an accountant I'm um I'm a coach I'm a I'm a 
I'm a cook, I'm a doctor, I'm a psychologist, and they're all, and I'm a mom. He's like all, is like on it as well. You know, like that's what I am. I'm all of these things. So parsing that out seems like neat and tidy, but also like this is going to happen where you're having like almost a, a, a split personality problem, maybe. But also apparently kids are going to be, so that the embryos are going to be made and grown are they only going to be popped out when they're fully grown? Or, I guess, I guess, yeah. Because, like, the first couple generations, in order to have the proper genetic diversity, you're not going to have a human person out there to care for them. It's going to take a couple generations, maybe. Or a couple birthing cycles, I don't know. For there to be... You know, because you got to have, like, your first ones come out, and they have to be raised... By like essentially machine programs, by software. So that's really interesting. Who are the first actual people born, like created or whatever? I don't know. That's really cool. Like, would they like? It, it could have so easily gone. Oh man. Um, to like having those first people become like gods and goddesses. You know. You already read that. Cradle sealed. Uh, Ilu Iluithia was successfully sealed. Iluithia one was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xingjiang Pro province could detect it. Ping back from crucial systems is good for our maiden voyage. A success. Regards my disputes with the betas over zygote selection. Of course, I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow in our future humans, but we can all agree that there is margin for refinement in future cradle populations. Don't. In addition to personally overseeing completion of the Eleuthia 2 site inside Mount Namuli, I will formulate and propose a modified zygote selection plan within the week. Uh, what you mean? I thought we were just talking about how... Because the problem with, like, so, so what they're saying is there's not going to be any eugenics. Um, they're going to keep existing humans as they are. So, like, autism, still a thing. Down syndrome, still a thing. Um... That's the impression I was getting, right? Because, like, those people have a right to exist. Like, you can't just erase them from the genetic code, you know? Like, and, and it's a really, I don't know, I don't know enough about this topic to, like, ever even debate on it, ever, you know? Or it's like, well, they have a chance to live a full and healthy life as, like, a, I don't know, fully functioning person? But, like, they are fully functioning, but, like, as, like, what you would air quotes call normal... But it's like at the same time trying to erase them means that there's like something wrong with them when there isn't, you know? So I don't know. There's like debates on that. I don't get involved in it. Like I just, I've seen it tertiarily in the distance. So but that's what I was thinking when he said this was that they weren't going to change things. However, I could see it being a good time to like, I don't know, eradicate measles. Um... I know that they're gonna do inoculation, but like, and this is in the future technically, so like they've had a chance to like get rid of, I don't know, lazy eyes or something, you know? Something that you could improve upon, but then like how far do you go? And it's always, ah, uh, genetics is such a, an ethical quandary, really. Um, I've read some really good sci-fi books about it, like, and I've read like, you know, school stuff in school and stuff, but there's some good sci-fi books that talk about it as well. Sorry, my throat is, like, dying. At time of recording, N7 Day was yesterday, and I streamed for, like, what felt like eight hours, but what I think was, like, six. <laughs> but, um, anyway, this is interesting stuff. But apparently, he's saying something about zygote selection. And at one point, I was wondering, because, like, we see so many diverse people in this game like everybody in every tribe they're all they all there's there's all different kinds of like what i guess we would call nationalities nowadays um but like there doesn't really seem to be like this is where a certain cultural group lives and this is where another one lives and this is where another one lives you know it's all mixed together so like i wonder when he's saying zygote selection if he's saying that each of these cradles he's putting like a variety 
of zygotes in there instead of just like maybe in this um Jin Xinjiang one like they only put like uh Chinese people or something you know um so I don't know it's interesting anything else for me besides this supply crate that I can't have all of it Cradle facilities. <laughs> Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Yeah, she's putting it together. Aloy. Aloy ain't no Aloy ain't no fool. She knows what's up. She's putting the pieces together. Uh Go. Go. Oh my gosh, scoot over. Now I'm keeping an eye out. So like, though it's kind of funny because like many, many, many of the, I didn't have this many until I came in here. The majority of the plot is being told in this, this particular zone. I got like half of these, over half of these in here. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. So this is quest, and this is world, machines, scanned glyphs, okay. So it did separate them. Audio data points though, I got a ton in here. Uh oh, what's that? Red light. That doesn't look like it's a good thing. Oh. Looks like it used to hold something. Some component. This thing? Weird looking. Looks like it's from aliens. Us would benefit from antilopene morphologies. Though Kempert forms show superior load bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies. I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... Grief. That is difficult to describe. Interesting. Am I not functioning? <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. So, for some reason, she was Gaia was particularly attached to the megafaunal species that went extinct like which is what a lot of the creatures that we see like the saber tooths and the mammoths like like the machines we see are based off of the quaternary uh m mammals he will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to prime and final instatement elizabeth may i speak outside protocol oh, when you're back up and running at the new site we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand elizabeth I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, 
Extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Whoo! That was a that was a rare moment for Elizabeth. I kind of I started to like tear up. I was like, oh my gosh! Like she she. She's, you think she's stuck in here and she's like distant from what's going on and she's really focused on her project and she is. But the project that she proposed and that she created, she knew what it would cost as much as the military guy did. Like it was not any easier for her to project this because like, I don't know. And I didn't, this is really ballsy storytelling. Like I've said it before, but like to actually, it wasn't that we were saved, it wasn't that anything was saved, really. I mean, it was, but, like, the humans were not saved. Their knowledge and everything was saved, but these are complete, it's a completely new thing of humans, you know, I mean, but whose genetics do they decide to keep, you know? It's like, obviously, Elizabeth got to keep her genetic code, and they're pretty intact, you know? Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, wow. a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. I hate him so much. I hope he suffers in every afterlife ever. Sorry, I'm cracking open a cold one. I'm gonna try to spill everywhere. I love AI stories. Can I just tell you that? I wanna meet guys so bad. I'm predispositioned because of Mass Effect to love AIs, but. Okay, now we gotta find a way in. There's my gun way over yonder. Okay. Can I? Oh, come on. I can't scan through the glass. Hmm. Can I? Oh, it goes right through the window. It doesn't even like hit off the window. Goes right through it. Oh, there's something missing from that thing over there. But from this thing? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be harder than that. Uh, I am so nervous. Hang on. Can't carry more. Okay. I feel like I should use these health potions. Odyssey has. Failed? What? 
Thrall, some terrible news, I'm afraid. Farzanith has informed me that Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species in earthly life. We must... Oh! Okay. Okay, yeah, because Odyssey was... They were talking about something about maybe how they're, they're, they could have life around... And I don't know, they were just like... I thought it was like a, a metaphor or something. But they actually meant that at the last second they were going to attempt to... And that's, what, that's what that one guy was panicking about, was like sending a ship way out. But like that wasn't supposed to be an option. That wasn't supposed to be an option, but it wasn't an option for the current people. It was maybe going to be an option for like terraforming a new planet, maybe. But apparently, it just and it was gonna. They were gonna defeat, depart the solar system. So serious, like the star serious, not like a pla a moon around Jupiter or something. Like they got pretty far, but wow, everything was just wiped clean so there's not even any humans out and about in the galaxy it's just us okie dokie Artemis status I want to get all the infos it's coming along Liz I'm positive about it if those words can still mean anything I had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their sampers, samples so many species strapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas suspended in what ifs more than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043 yeah you ain't joking We've started mapping out primary succession, selecting the, selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere, microorganisms, and, and yeah, they have to do all that. They have to do all that. They have to, they, they're, I don't think it can be like understated that they're trying to create an entire planet from like the ooze stage, you know, from before, like at least there's a mass here, but they have to create all the microorganisms that will allow for this growth. like. It's crazy. Like, if they get one thing wrong, the planet's gonna become something entirely different. Microorganisms and insects, rabbits and hogs, foxes and wolves, thousands more that will have to wait their turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them so they can return to a world that, this time, will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many too lates. We lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples we lost were, well, irreplaceable. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they, I mean, even then, like, they, they're trying to interact with the outside world to get things. So they lost a whole team, and, and Myanmar is, like, there's so many rare and endangered species there. Like, it's a very isolated place. Like, that's insane. There's a whole geolet or a whole biological niche that's gone. Thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The earth is a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now, not like this. Not on our watch. I'm gonna cry. These people are like so dedicated to this idea. And they won't even see it. They won't even see it. It's crazy. Did I already yeah. Whoa, okay. We're gonna we're gonna get to this. We're gonna do it. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, yeah. no, I had a legitimate birth. It's a you. Oh! Or the creation of a machine. That was a low blow. Kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Ah! Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Do we have it? Did we just get knocked out? Still alive. Good. I 
I'm not. This is not okay. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> he just stepped on my face. I don't feel like that's a very efficient way to knock somebody back out. Also, if they break this place, I will be so mad. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. Oh, I'm in the ring. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. I have no armor! Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. There's no way she's able sure to reach it while he's right there. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Guy, stop talking, please. I am so, yeah. I am really bored. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. You're all savage! His name was Rost, and he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. Not always. No. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before. You had attacked. to do your villain monologue! But I didn't. Ah, I'm so Fate bored. Troubled my thoughts. Could you just? Haunted could you just get step. to the end already? It was only when I captured yeah, uh -huh. down in that place uh -huh. that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length okay. across the course of events. Oh boy! All right. You were meant to survive that. Throw me on the ring. Just throw me in the ring. Dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. All right, throw me in. Here. Come on. So that you might die uh, as a sacrificial offering to the sun. All right, let's just get this over with. Come on. Everything as it was. I meant killed that to be. one thing. Predestined. That ground pounder. Preordained. Nothing. Nothing phases me anymore. Stop flexing. You're a thug. Hmm. You're a puppet. He might appreciate that. He's like a puppet of the sun. You're a thug. Yeah, he's meant to beat things up. He's a fool. You're Men hate idiot. it when you call them idiots. A dangerous idiot. But an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? Here being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Could you speak? Shadow to sun. A little faster. Dark to light. I get it. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? That sounds like a lot You've of- You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left just, of it. Just, he's got- you fail to grasp uh -huh. the Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I get it. I just, just don't care. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. I have not surely been conquered. I am still alive. Belief comes unstoppable force. Yeah, well. Then you can just cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. Yes! The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place. You're a coward and you won't exactly. kill me yourself. Where it belongs. Actually, no, he's legitimately... The errant it's a ritual. Caged will serve her true purpose. 
a sacrificial. How am I supposed to help the little king boy oh, now? Speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, <gasps> I sent messengers into the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sea. No! I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but what? alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Uh. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, <gasps> communication over distances is impossible. Maybe I can impersonate him. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. I didn't do it. You do didn't. You Don't try to pin this the on me. Judgment of the sun in these events. No, I see a madman. I see a crazy madman with too much power. Such a powerful device. He's gonna it? crush it, isn't he? And yet, so fragile. How am I supposed to do anything now? <sighs> so you see, this time. I did not hesitate. The knife has already I'm gonna been take, twisted. I'm going to take yours. How's that sound? Uh, guess what? No, no, no. It's okay. I bet you Silence downloaded a copy of whatever we put on our thing. He had to have. Call it right after we get out of this cutscene. faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. I, I sh A new dawn there's no, on the horizon. There's no appealing to his A better nature. He doesn't have one. Break. He doesn't have one. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Oh, I fought those. It's fine. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? Proud in broad light of really? Death. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in view of the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! It's a corrupted uh... Be the first of thousands! Why? I don't even understand. Like, obviously there's no reasoning with him, but it doesn't make any sense. Just kill people wantonly? Like, what kind of god wants that? You're not one of those burrowing things. We're gonna be fine. I like my my my. I, I like my uh, my outfit. Anyway, hmm. <laughs> I have like she said. I have no idea how we're gonna beat this without weapons. So unless I can run up the side of the cliff, which I can't, cause I'm not an assassin. I'm an Aloy. We'll have to see how this goes in the next one. Yeah, but thank you guys so much for joining me. I I hope, I was told that I wouldn't have to worry about it. But now I feel like, this is gonna be like I wouldn't have to worry about doing this quest and then not being able to do things after. But if the Nora are actually threatened, I'm going to feel like honor bound to go out there and save them. And it's going to be one of those things like in Mass Effect 3 where you just feel this like intense crush of pressure to go, go do this thing. Even though nothing is going to happen until you get there, you know. But like... 
it's like, get go, I gotta go, but, like, I, I still need to, like, finish the hunting lodge, I gotta finish the bandit camps, because, like, I can, like, I think I can sort of, like, recruit people to my side, maybe a little bit, like, I can, like, I don't know, I don't know if that's exactly right, but, like, that's what I think, is something that, like, when I complete all these things, and, like, I have these people's, like, loyalty, essentially, uh, they'll help me in some way, um, maybe I'm wrong, but, so now I'm like, dang it! <laughs> But uh, hopefully this works out uh, the way I want it to. And thank you all for watching. And uh, wish me luck. I'm about to go do this thing now. I'll see you next time.